Understanding Imaginary Dreams Hello everyone, today, we'll be diving into the fascinating world of phrases, focusing on imaginary dreams. It might sound a bit redundant at first. Aren't all dreams imaginary? Well, there's more to this phrase than meets the eye, and we're about to explore its nuances and applications. Get ready to enhance your English vocabulary and understand how this phrase paints a picture beyond just words. Before we delve deeper, let's break down the phrase. Imaginary refers to something that exists only in the imagination, not physically real. Dreams, on the other hand, are thoughts, images, or scenarios that occur in a person's mind, especially during sleep. But dreams can also be aspirations or hopes for the future. So, imaginary dreams could mean dreams within dreams or aspirations that are highly fanciful and perhaps unrealistic. In English, imaginary dreams is often used to describe scenarios or ambitions that are highly creative, extremely ambitious, or seemingly unattainable. It's a poetic expression that conveys depth and emotion. Writers and speakers use it to emphasize the creative or unrealistic nature of someone's thoughts or aspirations. For instance, saying, he's always lost in his imaginary dreams, implies that the person is often absorbed in thoughts or ideas that are detached from reality and practicality. Imaginary dreams is a phrase you might encounter in literature, poetry, or motivational speeches. It's used to evoke emotion, inspire creativity, or highlight the difference between reality and fantasy. For example, in a novel, a character might be described as chasing their imaginary dreams, indicating a pursuit of goals that might seem impossible to others. Understanding phrases like imaginary dreams is crucial in mastering English because it not only enhances your vocabulary but also helps you grasp the cultural and emotional nuances of the language. Phrases like these add color and depth to your communication, allowing you to express ideas and emotions more vividly. In our journey through the phrase imaginary dreams, We've uncovered its layers and learned how it's used to describe highly creative or seemingly unrealistic thoughts and aspirations. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the pictures they paint and the emotions they evoke. I hope this exploration has sparked your imagination and helped you dream a little in the vast universe of English vocabulary. Until next time, keep learning and keep dreaming.